I'm Dr. Trenko. Yes? Yes. Tell Mrs. Berry I'm here. Is Mr. Berry expecting you? Uh, that's obvious, isn't it? Uh, Mrs. Berry is rather busy. Oh, she'll be pleased to be interrupted. Clear case of dementia precox. Pardon? Uh, you wouldn't understand. Yes, Oliver? Mrs. Berry, are you expecting a Dr. Trenkel? Oh, oh, yes, yes. Oh, indeed. Oh, dear, I, I forgot to tell you. He's coming here to treat Randolph. But he's brought all his luggage. Uh, yes, that's part of the treatment. I, I mean, he, he may be here for a very long time. Here, Oliver, you uh, play my hand. Uh, excuse me, please. Pass. Pass nothing? You play this in six, no trump. Doubled. Do you believe in miracles? How do you do, Doctor? I'm so glad you've come. My poor Randolph, do you think you can help him? Do I think? You leave everything to me. Oh, that's what all the other doctors said. Then I'm not the first. Oh, dear, no. I've tried everybody. And I shall be the last. A beautiful example of hyperthyroid. Yes, I like it, too. I hope Randolph won't be angry. I haven't told him you were coming. He's rather temperamental. Randolph, it's Mother. Come in. <laughs> Hello, Gussie. I thought you were playing bread. Randolph, I have a little surprise for you. This is Dr. Trinkle. How do you do, Doctor? Someone ill? You are. Oh, Gussie. Otherwise, why would he stay in bed all day? What's it a get up for? You see, Doctor, did I exaggerate? He doesn't want to go anywhere. He doesn't want to see anybody. Not even his own mother. Here, Gussie, have a sandwich. It'll make you feel better. <laughs> doctor? Uh, no, thank you. My boy... Uh... What do you wish to examine, Doctor? Heart, liver, lungs, or feet? I am interested in your soul, not your giblets. And the doctor is a great psychologist. Psychiatrist? <laughs> yeah. Oh, really? What school? Jung, real Freud, or fraud? He knows so much. Oh, cucumber. <laughs> now, Randolph, you and I are going to have a little chat. Let's pretend that we have met years and years and years ago. Well, I know. Reincarnation. <laughs> well, well? Mm -hmm. uh, what's trumps? I, oh, I did. I did uh, four spades. Pass. Pass. <laughs> Would you play this hand for me, please? Certainly. Thank you. I'll bid five diamonds. Double. Double. Say, what kind of a bridge game is this anyway? Well, let's not get please, excited. Please. My boy, tell me, why don't you get out of bed? It's quite simple, Doctor. If I get out of bed, I have to get dressed. Quite logical. And if I get dressed, I have to go somewhere. Also logical. And if I go somewhere? Yes. I only have to come back again. Still logical. So I might as well stay here. Exactly. Uh, t tell me, have you any Russian blood in you? Russian? I don't think so. Then you have the wrong philosophy. You can't just lie here. You have a purpose to fulfill. You must emerge from this cocoon. But it's such a nice cocoon. Nevertheless, the time has come for you to burst through and spread your wings. The birds, the flowers, the trees, they're all part of nature's scheme. It's the same with human beings. Don't think it's just an accident that you're in this world today. Oh, no, indeed. <laughs> Way down deep inside, you have a mission, a purpose. Yeah, but what? That is just what we are about to discover. We are going to plumb your subnoxious, uh, subconscious mind. You must relax, relax. Keep your eyes fixed on this. You must look at nothing else. You must think of nothing else. You are getting drowsy. 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 Sleep. Sleep. Markalo tuita, valmihala industani prana. I am giving you a purpose, a will to live. When I give the command, 
You will arise from your bed, which is the symbol of your mental imprisonment. You will walk to the window, which is the threshold of your new life. You will lift your head high and walk smiling into the new world. Now, arise. Arise? But arise! Gussie! Gussie! Look out, Gussie! Oh, oh, oh. oh where, 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 where am I? What happened? What happened to me? Oh, oh, my goodness, what a horrible death that would have been. Are you all right, Gussie? Oh, yes, dear, I'm... Doctor, you've done it. What? You got Randolph out of bed. Oh, no, he hasn't. The emergency is over. <laughs> Randolph! Uh, now, Mrs. Barrick, he wants to stay in bed. Let him. I have reached my diagnosis. Your son's behavior just now in an emergency has proved to me one thing. That... While the case is not entirely hopeless... Oh, good. ...the cure may be difficult. Really? Your boys allow a lazy, selfish, impertinent boy. Dr. Franco, I resent that. And obviously has been surrounded by the same sort of people. Oh, Oliver, Oliver. I can't help it, Mrs. Perry. There is nothing wrong with Randolph. He's just an aristocrat, like all the berries. Uh -huh. Why, if you'd study the family history, you would find that way back in 1766, Sir Josiah Berry used to lie in bed all day. And night. And night. Let me see your tongue. Do you feel all right? Why, of course. You sure? Certainly. Extraordinary. Now, Mrs. Barry, you've been feeding your son cake, and it's time for him to eat bread. What he needs is the companionship of boys that had to fight for everything in their life. That would give him balance. You mean... Uh... Exactly, exactly. You see, he's an overprivileged boy, and he needs the influence and the example of underprivileged boys. So... But I don't know any underprivileged boys. Maybe Oliver could find me some. I have a vague idea there are a few left in the New York's east side. Get a half a dozen immediately. Maybe I'd better get a dozen. I think that you'll find that half a dozen will be quite enough. Oh, from the east side. Mm. Hello, Jim. How are you? Men give me any trouble? No. Well, goodbye. So long. Spot for an earthquake. Boy, they're gonna hit us up to Montreal. It's a shame to do it. Gee. What's the matter with you? This ain't like Dalton push cards. If we get caught doing this. <laughs> hey, Danny. This guy's got icicles on his feet. Okay, yellow streak. Why don't you go home? I'm only saying that smashing all the stuff ain't gonna get your old man his job back. Well, it ain't only Danny's old man. It's mine too, and me uncle. Yeah, and they're not gonna get away with it. Firing everybody. Blaming them on overproduction. Listen, if they got too much stock, what can they do? That's where we come in. Well, are you with us? All right, I'm with you. So what? Look at me, I'm a bubble dancer. Look at the fellow, he thinks he can dance. Does he smell? Pull it past! Hey, pull! Pull! That's small time stuff. Let's wholesale this job. Hey, what's holding that thing up? Get away with this. I saw you 
Danny Burns. Oh, they broke in and wrecked the place. Who? Danny Burns and his gang. Where'd they go? They're down that way. <laughs> What's up? Let me go fuck the cops. You guys looking for a gang of kids, about four or five of them? Yeah, did you see them? Did I see them? They darn near knocked me down. They come through here like a steamroller. They went around that way, around that corner. Thanks. Hey, hold that taxi! Water around the corner in a hurry! Boy, oh boy, was that a close shave. Gee, Danny, your uncle fucks a swell guy. I'm going home. I, I mean, I mean, my mother's got lunch ready and I'm hungry. So long, fellas. Hey, you ain't going home. What do you mean I ain't going home? None of us are going home. I ain't scared. Me old man don't know what I've done. But the cops do. They'll be sitting on our front stoop waiting for us. But Danny, what are we going to do? Where are we going to go? We can't sleep in the street. Shut up. I'll think of something. <laughs> What's hey, a big idea? Oh. Hiya, Pee Wee. I thought you boys were told to stay away from this building. Just slumming, mister. Just slumming. Just a minute. Now, you boys, listen. After your last visit here at the settlement house, three dozen ping-pong balls were missing. Ping-pong? Wait, 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 Free vacation at a country estate. Who wants to go to the country? Look, dumb bellow, it'll be a swell hideout till this blows over. Sure, the cops will never quiet. What about Pee Wee? Come on, let's give him the works. Mr. Merriweather? Yes? Mr. Merriweather, we were just reading the bulletin board. Oh, can you? About that vacation to the country, Mr. Merriweather. Now, I was just thinking. Don't. The bulletin says, deserving boys. Mr. Merriweather, that hurt. I know we've made a lot of trouble for you, but if you just give us this one chance... No. And goodbye. But we got a blue town. I mean, we need a vacation. Me noise! Look, it's me noise! Look, I'm shaking! Me too! I gotta get away. I got spots in front of me eyes. No kidding! Take them away! Take them away! Look at my tongue. I'm a nervous wreck. I need a vacation. But Mr. Merriweather... I ain't never seen a cow. This is a case of life and death, Mr. Merriweather. Look, I'm dying. I need fresh air. I need oxygen. Do I look like a nitwit? Yes. I mean, no, no. Mr. Merriweather speaking. Oh, Mrs. Berry. Oh, yes. Yes, the messenger brought the railroad tickets over just a little while ago. Uh-huh. I have them right here. Yes. There are... Uh, uh, Mrs. Berry... <laughs> Six deserving, well-behaved boys. Yes. Yes, I, uh... Oh, I, uh, I chose them just an hour ago. They'll be over this afternoon. Yes, thank you. Goodbye. Now, what can I do for you? You can. Come on. What can I do? The same as we told you last week. Yeah, that goes double for me. Yeah, me. Yeah, it goes double for me. Maybe they ducked in the settlement house. You heard what that fellow said? They went down that way. Where are we going, Danny? This book. Maybe he's got some ideas. You kids better lay low. What's the matter? The cops are coming back. You know, that kid's is full of tricks. Yeah, well, it ain't funny this time. Unlawful entry and destruction of property. This will mean a nice little stretch. Go on around the block again. Come on, you kids, go. Guess I'm in business, all right. Man, we almost had a perfect job. If it wasn't for that peewee. What do you mean? Some rich society dame was giving away free vacations. Mrs. Augusta Berry. Yeah, the tickets are already here. Ah, what's the use? Wait a minute, maybe there's still a chance. Yeah? Come here, Sprouts. Listen. Here's your lunch, Mr. Merriweather. Oh. Did you tell them to slice the roast beef very thin? Yes, sir. And four sugars in the coffee? Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Nice. Oh, very nice, thank you. You get it? Gee, that's swell. He can do it. Who's got a slug? Here's a nickel. What are you doing? Will you get out of here? Willis Settlement House, Mr. Merriweather speaking. 
Oh, Mrs. Berry. Uh, oh, uh, Mrs. Berry's secretary. Oh, I see. Mrs. Berry has thought the matter over very carefully. She don't want no boys. Oh, but I don't understand. Perhaps if I talk to Mrs. Berry... That's utterly impossible. She's taking a bar. Well, but uh, the arrangements are all made. Uh, the boys have been chosen. The railroad tickets are here. Uh, oh, can't she reconsider? No, nah, she can't. She can't. And that's final. What? I'm sending a messenger around in a few minutes. What for? You didn't think you were going to get away with those railroad tickets, did you? Uh, well, no, but I... He's society. Thanks, Buck. I'll do as much for you someday. Okay, kid. I'm going to hold you to that. I'll see if the coast is clear. Right. You sure put it over. I would have busted out laughing. It's a gift. Uh, it's a gift you got to be born with. <laughs> uh-huh. Oh. You're not putting anything over on me. I know why you're hanging around here, but you can't get away with it. I locked all the ping pong balls up in the safe. <laughs> Come on, let's get out of here. It's a most interesting experiment, Dr. Trinkle. So modern. When do you expect them, Mrs. Berry? The little men will be here this evening. Oh, it's so new and fascinating. <laughs> fascinating, yes, but not exactly new. I use the same method with great success with the royal family of my country. One day, His Imperial Highness, the Grand Duke Susan Sanovich, sent for me. He said... Uh, he? Trinkle, he said, you are my only hope. My son, Sir Sanovich Jr., is a... Lemon? Sir Sanovich Jr. has lost his will to live. I will do what I can, Your Highness, I said, and I okay. uh, proceeded to look him over. In examining his head, would you believe I found two lumps? Excuse me, please. You finish it. A most peculiar man, Dr. Tank. Oliver, what's that? It must be a mirage. Thanks for the lift, bud. So long, kid. Come over to see us sometime. We're going to be here for a month. Lafayette, we have come. Hey, it's a nice place you got here. Looks like a park. Who are you? What do you want here? Look, they keep their own undertaker on the place. Undertaker? He's only a waiter. Uh, are you... Are you... Yeah, we're from the settlement. Uh, are you Mrs. Barry? Well, yeah, yeah, I, I, I was. I mean... Pleased to meet you, Mrs. Barry. Put it there. Hey, fellas, eat. Mrs. Barry, can I eat something? I'm starved. No kidding. Why don't you wait till you rest? Uh, they, these, these are, uh... Let's skip the introductions. Hi, folks. Dr. Trinkle, you'll, you'll have to help me, I'm afraid. You see, I, I'm a little bit surprised. But, Mrs. Berry, you ordered them. Yeah, yeah, oh, yes. But shouldn't they have been delivered at the back door? Hey, can you see through those? Well, I certainly wouldn't spend good money on something I couldn't use. Lady, you got jipped. We didn't know you was having company, Mrs. Berry. Yes, but I, I didn't expect you until this evening. You see, we had to leave in a hurry. You dope. We wanted to get to the country. The clean, fresh air. I'm sick. I got spots in front of me eyes. Oh, the smell of the soil. The good oil. You're overdoing it. I think that I shall never see nothing like a tree. I'm awful sorry, Mrs. Berry, but... Yeah, th th that's all right, but... But where's your luggage? Oh, I don't believe they have a toothbrush between them. Well, you could lend us one, couldn't you? Oh, this is awful. You know, I told the Institute to send me underprivileged boys. I didn't expect... Hill Willies. Lady, I ain't no Hill Willie. Oliver, what do you suggest? Oh, there's just one thing to be done. Of course. Take him right up to see Randolph. Oh, no, Doctor, no. No, I never could do that. Oh, well, naturally. <laughs> it's up to me to explain their duties to them. Follow me, boys. But, Doctor... Doctor, take them to the laundry first. That's a crack. Yeah. Mrs. Betty, I am very disappointed in you. <laughs> Oliver, I did it for my little boy. Come in. 
Randolph, I brought some little gentlemen to meet you. Hiya, Randolph. Hey, Slug, what are you doing? What a whack. Well, I don't want to fit in this bedroom at all. This ain't no bedroom. This is a boot. Hey, get a load of this bed. I don't blame you for not wanting to. Look at the guy. He's with a silk shirt on. Hey, man, I'm shaking the beauty. Hey, buddy. Let's move. Lay off your lugs. Ain't you got no manners? Toss me one. Did you say gentlemen, Doctor? Exactly. And now I'm going to leave you to get acquainted in your own quiet way. Leave it to us, Doctor. Don't worry. Doctor, 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 Doctor Trinkle, this is impossible. Nothing is impossible. Randolph, I'm here to make friends with you. I've heard it said it takes two to make a friendship. You said it. We're going to be pals. What an extraordinarily depressing prospect. What's the matter? Don't you like us? That, my friend, is a masterpiece of understatement. Get out of the huh? way, and I'll hang one right on his butt. I'll handle him. Listen, Mr. Barry, Jr., we can make a couple of cracks, too. Only your old lady brought us here to do a job, and we're gonna do it. Get up out of that bed. You heard what I said. Get out of that bed. Oh, get going, will you? Hey, guys, maybe you don't want to get up. Maybe he's oh, sleeping. You don't, don't want to get, get out. Get out. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, get up. You're up kind of early this morning, Mr. Barry. What's the matter with that slug? Didn't you hear what the doctor said? He ain't got no will to survive. He ain't got no purpose in life. Hey, you dope. Wake up and live. Ah, nothing could bring him to. Miss Penelope Grant. Give me that. I ain't read it yet. You're not going to. Uh, no. Hey, guys, get a lot of this. To Penny. I love thee not as others love for figure or for face. My thoughts of thee are far above the kiss and the embrace. Woo! That's really hot. Oh, I'll make this fast. You're being tickled. Give me that. Tell you tell that. Oh, you want it, huh? Give me that at once. Well, come and get it. There they go. Danny boy going to the front seat. Let's get a second. But, Dr. Trinkle, what did Randolph say when they met? Well, naturally, he was a little shy at first. But I could see the delight in his soul at the prospect of new companions. Uh, but aren't they a little coarse? Uh, precisely. But subconsciously, they're longing for the finer things in life, which Randolph will give them. It's wonderful. Uh, but Justin, <laughs> oh, I'm so eager to see how the experiment turns out. <laughs> Band. He's actually running. Don't strain yourself, darling. It's wonderful. Oh, it's scandalous. Yeah. A berry in public, in pajamas. Exactly as I planned. And here comes one of the on the outside. There's a rhyming finish between Danny Boy and Sea Biscuit. They're neck and neck. They're really neck and folks. They're really neck and. Not Penny. Randolph and his new boyfriend. And they've shot him full of vitamins already. Hey, you, Randolph. Hello. Hello, Pat. Hello? Hello? Randy, you got something there. Hi, you good looking. <laughs> How do you like that? <laughs> don't touch me. You need to cool it off, don't you, Randolph? Yeah, after all that exercise. I say for a dip, isn't it? Oh, oh you, you mustn't. I can't swim. Hit that, guys? He can't swim. What a shame. Oh, poor guy. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. But, uh, Help, I can't swim! Save me, Dave! Help, I can't swim! Please your arms like a frog! Kick out with those feet! Come on! Use your floor! Use your floor! Use your legs like a pair of scissors! Don't breathe underwater! That's it! What Help! Help! Beat it! Let him alone! Are you crazy? You wanted to drown? What do you mean, drown? He's swimming, ain't he? Oh, and I've tried for years. Uh, it takes a man. And our boy Randolph. You're over the first title. You better be proud of us. You're shaking all over, but they're not bad. Exciting, Randolph. You were actually swimming. You got a will to live, all right. You heard me shout. Why didn't you help me? I wouldn't let her. He didn't need me anyway. Thank you, Penelope. Penelope? Lou, that's Penelope. Thank you both. No kidding. This is even better than I hoped for. Not only are you out of bed, but you had a little dip. What? You think maybe you saw Doc? A uh, normal reaction, perfectly natural. Boys, you did a magnificent piece of work. Oh, a mere trifle, a mere trifle. They certainly have. Yeah, we like it here too, Doc. Ah, uh, there's something in the air here. Invigorating, intoxicating. I think I'm gonna stay here three or four months myself. 
Does that mean we're cut in too, Doc? Uh, yes. Maybe my mother can come up for a couple of weeks. Uh, yeah, uh, no, 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 no. Well, how would you like the water, my boy? Swell. Well, what are we waiting for? Who's waiting? Well, come on. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Is that your boat? Yeah, do you want to go sailing? You bet. Well, come on, I'll race you. They tried to drown me. Oh, Albert, Albert! Right, I'm right here, Mrs. Berry. Can I help? Oh. What? Well, who's it? Why, that's Randolph. Uh, of course it's Randolph. Who'd you think it was? I had no idea. Well, do something. Get yeah. that the trinket. Oh, no. No, please. no. Oh. Well, get somebody. Do something. Yes, of course. This is an emergency. Oh. William, David, oh. Mr. Randolph, get him to his room. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Oh, those little, little scorpions. Excuse me, please. Don't you think we'd better go? It's really no time for guests. Yeah. yeah. Society. Number 401. X nay, X nay. I don't feel so good. Hey, this is a yacht, ain't it? Sure. Not exactly. It's a cat boat. What did I tell you? I know all about boats. Yeah, his old man runs a garbage scow on the East River. So what? What's your old man do, Jane? Well, Dad's in ladies' underwear. No kidding? Boy, I bet he looks funny. <laughs> I guess we'll be seeing a lot of you. We're going to be up here for a month. Oh, that's fine. It'll do Randolph a world of good. Oh. Gee, it's certainly a swell up here. I'll bet you were glad to get away from the city. Lady, you don't know the half of it. Are you comfortable, darling? Yes, I'm all right. And now, Oliver... Mrs. Berry, shh, please. Oh, I'm sorry, dear. Oliver, I want you to go down to the dock and tell those horrible boys that... Their services will be no longer required. Yes, madam. Mrs. Berry, couldn't we go a little further? You don't mean physical violence. Oh, no, no, no. I mean, Dr. Trenko. No, no, Oliver. No, I couldn't do that. Very well. You're just cutting off a toadstool, leaving the root right in the ground. But, Oliver, I've invited him to the fox hunt. He's telegraphed for his clothes. He'd be so disappointed. Mrs. Berry, you must be firm. Of course, I, I could write him a letter, but I don't know what to say. Well, I do, and I will, you... with your permission. Well, thanks for the ride. It was a lot of fun, wasn't it? Look, Toitle. Hiya, Toitle. That's what society does to those guys. <laughs> What's on a bill of fare tonight, Toitle? I wouldn't worry about the menu if I were you. Why not? Suppose the cooking don't agree with Whatever me. Whatever it is, we'll eat it. Sure, I can eat anything if it's got plenty of chili sauce on it. <laughs> well, I'm afraid none of you are going to grace our board this evening. Hey, Penny, translate that. Well, he means that... Allow me, please. You are all leaving on the 6.30 train tonight. What's the idea? Oh, a thief! A nigger road! Cut it out! What's it all about? We only got here. You can't send us back. I'm gonna see Mrs. Barry. These are Mrs. Barry's orders. Well, the doctor said we was doing swell. Oh, he did. Well, I'll send to the doctor immediately. Dr. Trinko? Dr. Trinko? Hey, you think maybe they're gonna dust him off, too? Well, he couldn't take it after all. Who? Don't you realize it was Randolph? Why, the dirty little double-crosser. What did he do that for? Don't he know he can't go back? I mean, uh... I know how you feel. To be chosen from all those boys at the settlement and then to have to go back. Huh? Oh, oh yes, yeah, sure, sure. I'll see you later. I've got something to do. How do you like that? Miss Penny, to see you, sir. Let her come in.
I suppose you've come to apologize. Nothing of the sort. I came to get my books. What's the meaning of all this violence? I'm in a hurry. Why? Because I hate long, drawn-out farewells. Farewells? Oh, I see. You take advantage of my illness to... You know sicker than I am. I saw everything that happened down at the dock. You're sending those boys away out of revenge. And that's spiteful and mean and cowardly. Hmm, what choice adjectives. This is the first vacation they've ever had. The first opportunity to get out in the open and oh, to... Oh, Penny, stop talking in platitudes. And you stop playing high and mighty. You think just because you've read Schopenhauer and Shakespeare and Sheets and Kelly that... Uh, Keats and Shelley. Oh, what does it matter? I know those boys are loud and uncouth, but underneath they're fine and courageous and honest. And they deserve a chance to stay. Absolutely no. Just when I was getting used to the high life. Maybe if we give ourselves up now, the cops will go easy on us. Not me. Society, huh? Taking us in and throwing us out. Here today at jail tomorrow. We're just a bunch of forgotten men. No, we ain't. We'll go, all right. But we'll leave the Barry family something to remember us by. That's right. We ain't said goodbye to them yet. Take up a nice, quiet way. Like the glass factory. Well, what are we waiting for? And so, Doctor, Mrs. Berry has come to the conclusion that efficacious as your methods were with the Imperial family, as far as her son Randolph is concerned... Uh, I say, as far as her son Randolph is concerned, your methods do not hold water. Or perhaps I should say they uh, hold too much water. <laughs> yes? Yes. And so, Mrs. Berry has decided that uh, your services, Doctor, are no longer required. What a lovely day. Isn't it? Uh, aren't you surprised? No. Disappointed? No. Not even a little bit? Genius is never understood. Of course, yes. Well, sir, good afternoon. I have one regret, however. Yes? Yeah? To find such an unusual case and to leave it uncured. That is to be regretted, of course, but I believe that young Randolph will get along very nicely without you, sir. I wasn't referring to Randolph. Dr. Trico. Yes? There's nothing the matter with me. No, the main thing is not to worry. That's the worst thing you can do in your condition. But I never felt that in all my life. Another symptom. Oh, oh, you don't think it might be something serious? How ironic to think that only two men who understand your ailment. Perhaps you better get the other specialist. Yes. I believe he's hunting wild game in Africa. Oh. Fascinating country, Africa. I think I'll go there myself for two or three years. Goodbye, Oliver. Dr. Trico. Dr. Frankel, you can't go to Africa. Oliver, did you tell him? Yes, Mrs. Berry. Oh, I'm so relieved. I'm going to need his room over the weekend. I've asked the Irwins to come up, and they're mad about the grapes on the wallpaper. Oh, I'm afraid, Mrs. Berry, the Irwins will have to be satisfied with the daisies in the blue room. Well, what happened to the grapes? Did he? I, I mean, uh, what did he do to them? Uh, well, nothing, but Dr. Trankel is not going. Whose house is this? Do you mean to say he refused to go? No, 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 he refused to stay. What? But you will have to persuade him. Oliver, are you quite all right? Oh, far from it. <laughs> Mrs. Berry, I'm afraid we've been terribly mistaken in regard to Dr. Trenko. Just... I don't think we've given him a fair trial. He is the only man in all the world who understands this ailment, except another doctor in England, in Asia, in Africa. Really? Yes. Well, and of course, he's got to stay. Yeah. But what would Randolph do without him? Naturally, I... Mm. Randolph? Oh, of course. And, uh, <clears throat> and uh, Mrs. Berry... In view of the fact that I may have to remain for quite some time, I would like to have a larger room. You don't mind, do you, Oliver? Why, of course, it's perfect. You can give him the petunias, and Mrs. Irvin will have her grapes after all. <laughs> but what about those little, little vagrants? Randolph will never consent to their staying. Well, that's quite simple. We'll just get six other little vagrants. Can you replace them? Well, one guinea pig is just as good as another. Oh, well, that's splendid. <laughs> then that's settled. Oh, Oliver, some sherry. I'll have brandy. <laughs> Oliver, remember. So it makes no difference to you that we'll never meet again. Does it matter? In spirit, you'll be with me always. Randolph, maybe I am just a sentimentalist, but you've never kissed me. Won't you now, just for goodbye? If you like.
Oh, what is it, Randolph? Well, I've been thinking this whole thing over. Oh, Randolph, you're wonderful. Now, Danny? Not yet. Shall I inform them, Mrs. Berry? No, that would be my pleasure. Well, Mrs. Berry, we just came to say goodbye. In our own quiet little way. Yeah. How nice. Goodbye. Now? Not yet. Ain't you coming on the same train with us, Doc? No, Dr. Trenkel is not leaving. No kidding. Oh, I like that. Huh? Hey, the title's my meat. Okay. You're making a mistake, Doc. You'll never be no good without us. There are plenty more where you came from. So that's, that's the way. That's right. You're going to be sorry you said that, Doc. Now? Now. Let him have it. Hold it. Hello. Randolph, what are you doing up? He wouldn't miss his chance to say goodbye to us. And we won't miss either. Who said it? Can I take him? He's my dish. No, Danny, you're wrong. Tell him what you told me, Randolph. Well, the boys can stay as long as they like. Randolph, whatever made you change your mind? A perfectly natural reaction. A subconscious desire to bring out the best in these boys. Out of boy, Doc. I still don't understand. Just another step in my experiment, and it's working out exactly as I planned. Randolph, shake hands with the boys. Boys, shake hands. Well, come on, come on. Shake hands. But what are you waiting for? Randolph, you're okay. Thanks a lot. Put it there, Randolph. Oh, Danny, I'm so happy. Oh, thanks a lot, Penny. Oh, uh, Penny. Yeah. Come in. Stop! Oh, my word, who did that? He did. Did. You did. What? What? No what? back talk, Turtle. Clean up that mess. Oh! Oh, what a day! What a day! Hi, Randy. Hi, that. Oh, so you got one too, huh? I don't need no sweater with these, Pat. Oh, boy, are we in style. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Oh, you know that? Hiya, Randy. Oh, huh? Got a lot of that. A fine thing, a fine What's thing. What's the matter with you? Hey, Randy, this is a little bit of all right. Just like cowboys and Indians. Gee, I ain't had so much fun since me old man beat up three cops. Come on, I'll show you guys how to jump ahead. Oh, my! How do you stop this plug? <laughs> So he's going to show us how to jump ahead, huh? A dirty double cross, I call it. We'll get you for this, Randolph. <laughs> so it's funny, huh? What a dirty trick. <laughs> it's not a very long walk home. <laughs> oh, my God! Pleasant dreams, Randolph. Jane. Jane, you're me fairy princess. What's that? What's that? Your eyes are like the moonlight. Oh, yes. Uh-huh. Come, come, come. Everybody. Up. 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 Oh, get going. Get out of bed. Good morning, Oliver. Get up. Don't you ever change your tie? <laughs> oh, go on, on, I... Don't you love your pups? Get up! You're just a teeny weeny bit. Say it, you love me. Say it, you be my wife. We'll go to Niagara Falls on a honeymoon. That's what we'll do. We'll go to Niagara Falls. <laughs> oh, what's the big idea? How'd you like Niagara Falls, pal? Oh. Get up, get up, get up. Get up, get up. Whoa! 
You and your horseback lessons. Oh, come, 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 come. Uh, look at that sheet. Look at that. Why? Uh, boots in bed. I could get them off. My face swollen up. Well, at least you could have taken off your britches. How? Pull them off over my head? Does he always sleep like that? Yeah, he got that way from sleeping in ash cans. Well, he's deformed. Oh, get up. It's 10 o'clock. We're in society now. We sleep till noon. I can't hold breakfast any longer. I'll have mine in bed, Toidle. <laughs> Me too, and tell a cook to make the coffee strong. Yeah, and tell her not to forget the finger balls either. Breakfast in this house is served only in the dining room. That's what you think. <sighs> Didn't I tell you to stay out of that icebox? I'm hard of here. Where's your manners? Don't you know how to eat? You was wolfing it, like this. See? Oh, a wise guy, huh? You want to make something out of it? Now, ain't that something oh, holding out on us, huh? Today's luncheon. Turkey. Oh, that's full. Oh, oh, hey, oh, 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 Public enemies, number one to six, inclusive. Oh, fellas, look at it. Hey, trying to pull a sneak, huh? Trying to get in the bathroom first, huh? Get a lot of that. Yeah, you all fought for 20 minutes yesterday. Besides, it's my turn. Where are you going? Hey, get out of here! Ha, ha, ha. Maybe you don't want to open If he wants privacy, Does it hurt? Well, I'm getting used to it. Say, why didn't you get a pair that would fit you? It's the only pair I ran off hand. Man dog, man dog! Get out of the way, will Get away, let me wash. How do you get that way? You've been out of luck enough. You both out of luck. I was here first. Ah, <laughs> oh, look, you tore. I tore you. Get out of the way. Get out of here. Let me fix it, will you? Here, here. What's going on here? What is it? My job. Will you stop that? Will you stop this nonsense? Now, you have two boys to know there's an inspector here from the settlement. Who did you say? An inspector from the settlement? You better get dressed immediately. He's coming up to see you. I thought that would calm you down. Wise guys. What are we going to do, Danny? How do I know? Come on. <laughs> Wise guys. <laughs> <laughs> Laughing to yourself, Oliver? Yes. Yeah. That's a very bad sign. Oh, is it? Well, it's those boys. They upset me. That's because you wish to be upset. Could it be possible that you are longing for excitement, adventure, romance? Well, how did you ever guess? I'll give you some pills for that. Oh, would they help? Mm, on second thought, I doubt it. Oh. A pink tonic would be better. Please. Inspector, I'm so glad you've come. I know the boys will be delighted to see you. Uh, Dr. Tango, this is Mr. Hathaway from the settlement. How are you? I want to thank you, Inspector, for sending me such a splendid batch of boys for my experiment. Uh, keep my breakfast hot, Oliver, please. Uh, they done Randolph a world of good already. Who? Oh, oh yes, yes, Randolph. Oh, naturally, when they first met, there was a certain psychological antagonism based on the differentiation of their respective environment. But, of course, you know about these social problems even better than I do, Inspector. 
Oh, yes, yes. Uh, here today and gone tomorrow. <laughs> yes, how true, how true. This way, Inspector. I do hope you'll be safe for dinner. We're having a birthday party for Randolph, a surprise party. Thank you so much, but I've got to get back to the city. I have a little job to do. Oh, uh, boys, Mr. Hathaway is here. Boys? Why, where are they? They're gone. Well, perhaps I shouldn't have surprised them. Good heavens, what's happened? The place looks like a hurricane. Just a minute. Why, it's... Hello, boys. You remember me, Mr. Hathaway from the settlement? Oh, sure. Oh, yeah, yeah. Come on up. It's okay. I'm certainly glad to pick you to come, Mr. Hathaway. Mm. How's everything at the settlement? Oh, just dandy. What were you boys doing out there? Oh, that. Why, uh, we were just having a fire drill. Yeah, you see, you ain't getting no fire escapes here. There you have it, Mrs. Berry. Ingenuity, self-preservation, the live to will. They want to live. Mm. When in danger, they know how to escape. That's very true, Doctor. Isn't that so, boy? You said it. And I'm confident it won't be long before Randolph, too, will acquire all... Well, what's that? Miss Berry, do you mind if we show Mr. Hathaway around the place? No, it's quite all right. We can't we've got to go now, this is positively disgraceful. Now, calm yourself, Mrs. Berry. On the one hand, you have a set of underprivileged boys. And on the other, you have an overabundance of water. Now, what does one do? Get a plumber. How's me, old man? What do my family say? Oh, but they didn't even know I've gone. How's me, mother? Hey, the cops wise to us? Take it easy. Oh, yeah. What are you, trouble? Well, I don't your kids break it up. You're forgetting where you are. What did you tell the folks, Buck? That you're hiding out in a place with plenty of fresh air and sunshine. I'm telling you, Buck, this is the life. Tennis and horseback riding and golf. And adequate, too. Charmed, I'm sure, Mrs. Gooseberry. <laughs> hey, they got you kids dressed like the Floridora sex set. What's that? Oh, you ain't seen nothing yet. Oh, we're gonna knock them dead tonight. Well, Buck, what do you think of the parlor? This ain't no parlor. This is a drawing room. Is this where they're having the big party tonight? Yeah, and there's gonna be a hundred people here, too. Yeah, and if there's gonna be food dressed. Yeah, free eating, but good. That's all. Hmm, leads right out on the terrace. Hey, kids, I kind of like this spot you picked for yourselves. Yeah, but I'm getting home, sir. Now, take it easy, kid. That's what I come up here to tell you. You gotta lay low for a little while yet. Thanks, Buck. You're okay. Put it back up from the cell. <laughs> Good morning, Randolph. Oh, boy, what a job with you. Hey, Did you get this for your birthday? Get off. I want to look at the motor. Hey, you guys, get off of there. Say, how old are you, Randolph? 16? One. Cut that out. This is Randolph. Yeah, we're curing him. Pleased to meet you, young man. This is Mr. Hathaway from the settlement. How do you do? Hey, this is only a two-seater. How can we all get in there? You can't. That's the idea. I guess a man can be permitted a little solitude on his birthday. Did you say man? Well, what's the matter with him? Ah, oh, it's his subconscious. He's a little dingy. Come on, Buck. We'll show you the boat. Now, some other time, kids. I gotta be easing out now. 11 o'clock train. Look, guys, go take your etiquette. I want to tell Buck something private. Well, oh, oh, I don't want to wait. I look like a gentleman. Don't worry about it. What did you really come up here for, Buck? Why, what are you talking about? You're... You're not thinking of pulling a job. Where did you ever get an idea like that? <laughs> hey, listen, kid. This society life is getting you a little bit goofy. You better have that, uh, that mental doctor look you over. Listen, Buck. Mrs. Berry's been swell to us. And we don't want to see nothing go wrong. Now, how do you like that? After I take all this trouble to come up and see how you kids are getting along... We're getting along swell. Don't spoil it. What are you so hoity-toity about? I'm telling you, Buck, if you try and pull a job up here, we're... Now, listen, kid. You better stick to your birthday parties and your etiquette and just forget about me. Especially if you want the cops to forget about you. Catch on? Well, so long, Danny. Oh, yeah, one thing more. Don't eat no soup with your knife. <laughs> Stop this, stop this, stop this. Now, understand me. There's to be no sagging, no red appling, and certainly none of that woodpeckering in this house. Here, we dance only the foxtrot and the tango. David, a tango. Now, remember the tempo. One, two, one, two, three, four. Oh, you great, big, wonderful man. Shall we sit this one out in the moonlight? The tango. One, two, Oh, we got 
got to keep this out. I want to get out of here. Yeah, my feet hurt. You Your feet hurt? Yeah, just because they're trying to party for Randolph, they're trying to make a lady out of it. Oh, stop that, stop that. Get off that bed. Get in the line where you belong here. Get up there. Get your feet off that bed. Get out of that chair. Get in the line where you belong. Who do you think you are, anyway? Gentlemen. Gentlemen. <laughs> we'll now review our ballroom etiquette for this evening. What do you say after being presented to a very charming young lady? Very Be glad, glad to, to make your acquaintance. acquaintance. Splendid. Surprising. Well, what do you say to your hostess after a very lovely dinner? Thanks for the most charming evening. And where's the bicarbonate soda, please? It's in the bathroom on the second shelf. Uh, are you... Uh, get back there in that line. Get in the line. I will now instruct you in the proper method of asking a young lady to dance. I know the method. You dancing? Are you asking? Yeah, I'm asking. So I'm dancing. Yeah, 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 break, 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 break. What is the idea? I have never seen anything so disgraceful. That's not it at all. You say, may I have the pleasure of this dance? May I have the pleasure of this dance? And what did she say? She will say, nothing would give me greater pleasure. Oh, Mr. Margaret Roy, nothing would give me greater pleasure. Hey, I didn't do nothing. What do you want? The tailor is here with the young gentleman's clothes. Oh, your clothes, boy. Oh, no, no, no. One, two, three, four, high. One, two, three, four. Oh, no, no, well, no. Two. No, it's nothing like that at all. Nothing like it. It goes like this. Look. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, kick. One, two, three, pack. One, two, three, four. One, two. And this part is simply priceless. A one, a two, a three. A... Gay or dignified? Oh, dignified. Later, please. Oh, stop that. Why, Oliver? You frighten me. I frighten you? Well, that's ridiculous. You know we're only afraid of the unknown. Nevertheless, I... Well, you know me, don't you? Oh, yes. Well, then how can I frighten you? Oh, relax. Here, I'll give you a pill. Oh, I don't think I... Oh, pink ones. Thank you. Don't do that. Oh. <laughs> Henry. <laughs> oh, thank you. Henry, I'm so glad you could come. Have I ever missed Randolph's birthday? You never know him. He's so changed. Oh, I knew you could depend on the settlement. The settlement idea was wonderful, and I owe everything to you. <coughs> oh, uh, and Dr. Trankel, too, of oh, course. Dr. Trankel. I've just been dying to meet you. Do you tell fortunes, too? Madam, I psychoanalyze. It's practically the same thing. Oh, Dr. Trankel, uh, uh, this is Judge Barry, Randolph's uncle. How do you do? I hope you're in good health. Oh. Never better. <laughs> Hey, guys, you know something? I feel just like I was getting married. Ah, these tailors don't know nothing. Look, me coat won't button. It's not supposed to, you whack. Hey, these pants are so tight, I'm choking to death. No wonder your tail sticks out. See? Yeah. I saw you, old fellow. Make it a hamburger with onions. Charmed, I assure you. Ah, oh, dummy up. Hey, what's eating you? He's been acting like that all day. What's on your mind, Danny? Skip it. Mrs. Barry, the gatekeeper just telephoned that Mr. Randolph is coming up the driveway. Are we all here? All but the six little gentlemen. Oh, where are they? They are achieving sartorial splendor. Why don't they just get dressed and come down? Because... Hide, 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 everybody. Hide, hide. He, he's coming. Now, listen. Listen, everybody. When he gets to the door, I'll wave my handkerchief, and that'll be the signal for you all to say, surprise, surprise, and then the wind instruments. <laughs> David, turn out the lights. Now listen, listen, everybody. Not a sound until I leave my handkerchief. Not now. Get going, will you? Hey, quit your shoving. Shh. The lights are on. Quiet, quiet. Maybe they're eating already. Quiet, quiet. Now. Uh. Surprise! Gee, Mrs. Barry, we're, we're overwhelmed. Oh. Is there a doctor in the house? Is there a doctor in the... Quick, Oliver, some sherry. Yes, sir. And the brandy for me. Turn on the lights. Ah, oh, move back there. Break it up, break it up. Ain't you ever seen a thing lately for? <laughs> Where am I? Oh, I remember now. Oh, get back, folks. Get back in your places. Are you all right, Jesse? Yeah, of course I'm all right. Don't bother me now. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> All is lost. All is lost. Oh. Where's the sherry? 
Ah. Isn't this a lovely party? Yes. How you doing, pal? Shut up. <laughs> hey, Jane, have you seen Penny? No, but I think she's dancing with... David. Hey, there's that swell dish who was on the boat with us. Yeah. See if I do this right. May I have the pleasure of this dance? You stink. I show you the right technique. Hey, Toots. How about a little... May I have the pleasure of this dance? Okay, body bender. Let's kick it. Oh, yeah? stars? Well, uh, just absent-minded. You must be. You forgot my dance. Gosh, I'm sorry. Let's go in. No, I don't think you feel like dancing. Let's sit this one out. I certainly must congratulate you. You already have Uncle Henry. Oh, I don't mean on your birthday. I'm referring to the splendid way you've come out of your shell. It worked beautifully. I was telling Mr. Hathaway about it only this morning. Oh, was old man Hathaway here? Oh, why, Mr. Hathaway's a young man. Now, Augusta, aren't you exaggerating again? Exaggerating? How old would you say he was, Randolph? About 30. There you are. Oh, why, he's been with the settlement for over 40 years. He's an old man with white hair. Well, maybe he had it dyed. Well, I can't understand that. Neither can I. Excuse me. I tell you, Augusta, Hathaway's an old man. Oh, don't bother me about it anymore. He's probably had his face lifted. You're not very talkative tonight. I guess not. Of course, you don't have to tell me if you don't want to. Ah, uh, it's nothing I was just thinking about. A friend of mine. And he's in trouble. You're a mind reader. Tell me some more. No, you tell me. Well, this friend of mine's in a spot. Oh. If he acts one way, he's gonna get hurt. If he acts another way, somebody else is gonna get hurt. Well, if he just wants to save his own skin... He's not thinking about himself. But whatever he does, he's gonna get somebody he likes in trouble. Mm-hmm. Told you it wasn't easy. They got the right idea in there. Dance, have a good time, forget about everything. That's the easy way out. Maybe. But I'm sick of the hard way. That doesn't sound like you, Danny. Well, maybe I'm just finding out what it's all about. Oh, <laughs> uh, David, a shenny, please. Yes, madam. And a brandy for you. <laughs> oh, I see. And the police are after them. Thank you, Mr. Merriweather. Shall I get in touch with the authorities? No, no, don't bother. I'll attend to it. Give me police headquarters. Clap hands. Here comes Charlie. Look, Charlie McCarthy. Say, these guys are good, too. Well, Charlie, how are you feeling this evening? Well, I'm all right, Mr. Bergen. Charlie, I hear you bought a new goat. Yes, but I'm disappointed in him. You're disappointed in him? Why, what's the matter with him? Well, he ain't got no nose. He ain't got no nose? Well, how does he smell? Terrible. <laughs> Who said that? Let me at it. Stay in the act. A wise guy, eh? Randolph, you've been missing all the fun. Oh, no, Penny. The fun hasn't started yet. Charlie, who's that lady I seen you walking with last night? How does he smell? Just like you do. Surprise, surprise. Don't anybody move. It's a stick-up, folks. Oh. Oh, he's here, too. All right, get in there. Let's take a chance. And another one here, folks. Get back. Go on, get back. All right, folks. All over the other side of the room. All right, Blackie, please. What's up, Danny? Quiet. I was eighth the judge just a few minutes ago. I... Well, what's happened? Oh, it's Mr. Hathaway. <laughs> Where'd you get that gun? In an antique shop. Mm. Yes, but it works. How are you, doctor? Well, 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 what's the meaning of all this? Just a few more underprivileged boys from the east side. <laughs> now, you better join those merrymakers over there. Yeah, yes, yes. Uh, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a terrible thing to happen at a children's party. Well, how are you, stuffed shirts? Hello, Mr. Hathaway. Never mind the funny business. We've got a lot of fruit to pick. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, my assistants will now pass among you with a hat. All contributions will be gratefully accepted. 
Get busy. But, Danny, how about... Come on. All right, folks, feed the kitty. Mr. Hathaway, indeed. He's an old man with a long white beard. Allow me. Yes, please, just uh, press that little uh, clasp. Yes. No! I didn't say... I'm so sorry. Well, I thought you were such nice boys, too. Well, lady, you never can tell. Of course, it's a conspiracy. I should have known. They're all thieves together. Well, I warned you against Yes, them. I know you did. What? Just a minute. You forgot this. All right, kids, let's have the stuff. Right in my pocket. Don't hold on on me. Nice work, juniors. Now, grab yourselves one of Mrs. Berry's fancy cars and beat it. I'll take care of you later. I said beat it. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to ask you to be so impolite as to turn your backs on me. I mean it. Turn around. We got to take those guys. We got a chance, Danny. Yeah, let's beat it. No, we got to stop them. It's up to us. You said it. All right, let me get the car started. Okay, boss. Get ready. Now, remember the rest of your etiquette. No fair peeking and don't raise your voice above a whisper. It ain't cricket. Let's go, Jack. Get his gun. It's gone. Where'd it go? All right, folks, one more courtesy in honor of our departure. Never mind. Come on. I want two minutes of respectful silence while we underprivileged boys take it on the land. Oh, oh, oh they're going to kill each other. They might notice it. First one that turns around's gonna get hurt. Oh. Yeah, yeah, get the rod. I see you going to here. Crosses, stay where you are. Buck, give back that stuff. You still got time. Don't make me laugh. All right, folks, the party's over. Oh, friend, what is it? What's happened? I've just captured a bandit. A bandit? In this house? I'll attend to him. Is he out? Like a can. Get that stuff out of his pockets and give it back. Randolph, you really came through. You did all right yourself, pal. Randolph, my beautiful statue, how could you? Why, Mrs. Berry, he's a hero. He saved all our lives. A hero? Yes, of course. Oh, I'm so proud. After his behavior in this emergency, I pronounce him completely cured. <laughs> it happened just as you planned, didn't it, Doctor? Uh, uh, oh, what a night. What a night. Can I get you sherry? Uh, yes, yes, and a brandy for you. Yes, oh. Oh. Mrs. Berry, wasn't it exciting? Aren't you thrilled? Yeah, we yes, yes. This is Mrs. Berry's residence. Something terrible is happening here. Will you send some officers right away? Yes, at once. Well, that's what I call service. This way, gentlemen, this way. This way, there. There's the bandit right there. Good evening, Mrs. Berry. Good evening. Are these the boys? Boys? They're full-grown men. I mean, they're life-size thieves. Th th there's the ringleader. And there's two more taking a nap in there. Come on, Shorty. And hey, don't go asking for no medals. Weeds on it. What is this? It's an upstick. Uh, uh, I mean, it's a highway robbery, only it happened indoors. Well, these three torpedoes. Now, just a minute, young man. I'll handle this. Who's Randolph Berry around here? I am. He's my son. You can't arrest him. If he hadn't hit that man over the head, I mean, he, uh, he did it in self-defense, you can ask the judge. Didn't you phone us to come over here and pick up six kids wanted in New York? Well... Well, did you or didn't you? 
Just a minute, officer. Did you say these boys are wanted in New York? Yes, sir. Oh, let's get him! Come on! Hold it! Is this on the level, Randolph? I'm sorry, boys. I didn't realize. Well, so long, Judge. Goodbye. Tanks are on it. We'll do just what you told us. Yeah. Sure, we're going back and take the rap with a smile. I know you will. How many years do you think they'll give us? You know, that glass wasn't worth much, Judge. It was pretty cheap stuff. We ain't really criminals, Judge. Yes, you proved that tonight. That's what makes me think that when your trial comes up with mitigating circumstances... You mean with your pull, you're going to get us off easy? Pull? I'm afraid you got the wrong idea about that. The law must take its course. However, I'll see what I can do for you. Well, thanks a lot, Judge. Thanks for everything, Doc. Good luck, my boy. Well, I, uh... I guess this is goodbye. Go on, you can kiss him. Hey, how do I write that? That's for everything you've done for Randolph. I get it. But the east side's gonna be awful hard to take after this. Come on, lad, let's get going. Well, so long, Mrs. Barry. Thanks a lot. So long, Oliver. Goodbye, Danny. Don't forget to brush your teeth. I won't. Come on, you mug. Move on. Who do you think you're shoving? Yeah, 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 it's going to be awfully quiet around here. Oh, I wish I'd made them some turkey sandwiches. Uh, yes, it's too bad. A very interesting experiment with perfect result. A year or two in jail will be a very good experiment. Why, Mrs. Barry? Pipe down, you mug. Get out of my you want in our clothes where you're going? Yeah? Well, now, ain't that something? Oh, 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 o